Hey gang, and welcome to Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows, and today we're looking at the game Kicking Class from Ram Games. Kicking Class is a two to four player dice rolling and card playing game from designers Aaron and Risa McKinney. In the game, players are reliving the high school experience. We have a prototype copy, so let's look at how to play the game. Kicking Class takes place over the course of four years of high school, and each year is broken into trimesters. At the beginning of the game, each player takes a unique player board and randomly selects his parents. Then each trimester, a new set of course cards are revealed, and players take turns rolling dice in an attempt to fulfill the requirements of a specific class. If they are able to roll successfully, they pass the class and add it to their portfolio and gain any benefits that the course might offer. If they fail the class, they get an F, and they'll likely be taking summer school in order to try and make up for lost time. Each trimester, new courses come and players repeat the process. At the end of each school year, if a player has been able to collect enough apples, he can attempt to take the ACT. He'll roll six die and record his score. He can take the ACT every year if he has enough tokens, and his highest ACT will be used at the end of the game. During the summer, players have several additional choices. They can take a summer school class, gain some popularity by hanging out with friends, or working a job. When the next trimester begins, the most popular player goes first, and school pretty much continues in the same manner for the rest of high school. At the end of four years, players will tally their academic achievements, their ACT scores, and their popularity, and then just like in real life, the luckiest player wins. <laughs> that is kind of true. The game has definitely some, got a lot of luck-based elements in it. You are trying to roll dice every time, and if the dice hate you, then you're not going to be so lucky. But the game does kind of give you some nice options and nice choices throughout. Uh, for example, when you're rolling to achieve those cards, there's several cards to choose from, several courses, and a lot of them, like, they vary in the difficulty. So you might only have to roll, like, six dice that total something higher than 12 or something like that. That's pretty easy to achieve. Or you might be trying for something crazy, like a three, four, five, six, you know, or something like that. You get to pick which one you're going to go for, and that allows you some control over what you're doing. And then also, obviously, as you go throughout the game, you, you pass that course, and then for future rounds, it may give you benefits that help you in your rolling in the future. Yeah, one other way to mitigate your dice rolls is the courses all have different colors. There are some that are wild. And then you, your dice are also colored matching those same classes. So when you roll all of your dice, say you pick a red course, any red dice that you roll, you can re-roll them and try and uh, get the correct um, dice to pass the class. Um, one other thing that I enjoyed was the theme is really excellent in this one as far as matching the theme to the mechanic. Um, it's really very immersive and uh, I enjoyed that it's not just something that's pasted on. Yeah, I think everything is really well laid out too. So like your player board has perfect spaces for everything. The actual game board has little perfect spaces that replicate the high school experience. Theme wise, we had a lot of fun with it. And then even on top of that is a nice little layer of strategy because as you're playing the game, um, like the approach that I kind of used was I wanted to take the ACT as soon as I could because that's a big portion of your final score. So I made an effort to get as many of those apples as I could early in the game. If you're able to do that and kind of set yourself up with a good ACT score, then you can kind of focus on other stuff throughout the game. Otherwise, you're kind of, you know, going back to do that over and over. So there are a lot of good choices in the game, even though it's a dice game. And I think because of that, it felt like a really full and a really cool experience. Yeah, this game takes about 45 minutes to play. So it's not a, a long, heavy game. Um, it's lightweight in that um, somebody younger could pick it up even if they're younger than high school, might look forward to their high school experience and what is coming up. Um, I did think the rule book was excellent. The iconography is great. We didn't have to keep referencing back to remember rules. So I think they did a great job in putting this one together. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with it. If it looks like something that you might enjoy, then definitely check out their Kickstarter campaign. And then be sure to subscribe to our channel too. We always appreciate having you guys here and we'll have more videos coming for you very soon.